Hey everyone. So, we are going to be watching. Um, sorry, my Mythgard sound is messed up. Okay. So the Nab Lacquer Tourney is what we'll be watching today. Uh, it's a tourney hosted by me and KG. <clears throat> um, we are going to start by watching um, Circle Against Lacaz here. Uh, so Circle is playing, um, a red-orange. Lakaz looks to be playing, um, a purple-green deck here. Uh, and hello to everyone joining me in stream. Um, the purple greens matchup isn't, you know, super good against red orange, though nothing really has that good of a matchup with red orange. Uh, he has put out two decent units, though, that uh, will pressure Circle a bit. Circle does have a whole lot of uh, parries in hand, though. He's got quite a bit of what we call value. And he's going to play out one of the parries. And take um, a, a pup and a trapezist. The pup is most likely to burn, so he'll be able to play the magmatar. Uh, notice a magmatar will kill a gamion at this point. Due to it being winter. So this positioning... Uh, yeah, that positioning definitely would have hurt him. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to Myth. I don't know why Myth wasn't able to sign in. But unfortunately, he did not. So Myth will miss the tournament. Uh, M. Flockle did get a first round bye. So, I don't know what happened, Myth. I don't know. You can uh, definitely report that in bugs. Hey there. Um, let's see here. Yeah, winter, uh, 
I just, I can't ever justify playing seasons. You can see how far behind he already is in this matchup. Um, this is already looking pretty bad for Lacaz. Um, I will be doing giveaways throughout the tournament. I have quite a few packs to be given away. And then, um, as some of you might have heard, I will also be uh, showing... I will also be showing um, uh, a card from the upcoming expansion as well uh, at the end of the stream. Uh, so unfortunately for him, this Iku is uh, dead from Dark Passenger. And Circle did just miss Lethal. He had Lethal with the Temptation. He could have moved this over one, tempted uh, the Gamion, and swung in for Lethal. So he did just miss Lethal there. Um, you tend not to get too punished though as Red Orange. So it'll probably be fine. And Lakaz uh, throws in the towel for game one. So a Red Orange beats a Purple Green pretty handily there. So over here we have a Blurple. Uh, yeah, that's the Rune way. RO can afford to miss lethals and still be fine. So we got a Blurple against um, a, a blue-green reanimator here. So this is definitely a bit different than we're used to. Deckless are open. Yeah. So M. Flockle might have a slight advantage because he can check out all the deck lists while he's waiting around for his buy. So Yoritomo, uh, looks like he's trying to figure out a way to deal with this living mountain. And I don't think he has a way. And in fact, it feels like he's taken too long now and ended up not playing anything. Which is... Okay, so he does get down to Tarragon. Tufaka with the dabs, dabbing on Yoritomo, really letting Yoritomo know that he is the nab lacquer here. He is just going hard with the dabs. Man, he's still just going. This is, this is too Faka, ladies and gentlemen.
I'm certain at this point Yoritomo is just playing slow. Because Tupac is dabbing. Wow. I don't know if I would call him Toxic Sludge. <laughs> Let's not be bad mouthing other players. Uh, so Yohori Tomo bows out of game uh, game one here. Ufaka wins with his blue green necro. Okay, so King Raspberry and Ouroboros Rider managed to tie in game one. <laughs> So, I actually want to see why. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, go to the end of their game one. So this game somehow ends up in a tie. I do see a cataclysm, so that's probably that's probably what happens here. With the false Mjolnir. <laughs> Oh, or Boros with the thanks for the game. Oh, it's because he attacked with that guy with the false Mjolnir. Huh. Huh. <laughs> well, that was amusing. <laughs> A false Mjolnir tie. Yeah, the cataclysm was the red herring tie. <laughs> All right, so we got Fighter Z and we got Tritros. Uh, thanks for the follow, Nearest. Yeah, I have never seen a, a false Mjolnir tie before. So we got a another green purple deck and then we have an orange purple deck. You will note that Tritros's orange purple does run Hoarding Hero. Uh, thanks for the follow, Yui. Beginning analysis. I don't really see anyone play uh, Academy Analyst, but it's interesting because he's in a rainbow deck. So that means his div will get him a card each turn. So if you're going to play uh, Academy Analyst, this is probably the spot you play it in. So he did manage to hit face with the, the Sheepo. Now his back alley is a 6-5. I'm wondering if that's what he plays out. He's just going to play out the Tarragon. I do not have a Twitter. Um, Twitter has always felt really toxic to me. Sorry. Um, if you are on the Mythgard Discord, though, I announce whenever I'm going to go live on Mythgard Discord. Uh, Myth, if you're in chat, can you can someone link him to the Mythgard Discord?
someone could check their enemy's hand using this stream. I didn't set a delay. Um, I know most of these people. I, I trust most of these people. All right. So, yeah, I'll always post in now live when I'm going there. Yes, in theory, someone could be cheating. I have also monitored Twitch chat in general, though. Um, yeah, so, like MinMaxer said, I mean, if they cheat, then they cheat. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, so Analyst kind of hurts. See, look, Terminal's in here. I, he can't trust him. <laughs> the Terminal also assured me he would leave. Like I said, I know most of the people in the tournament. I trust a lot of them. Um, I'm not too concerned with it. If I had, um, in the future, I think KG will try and run maybe some tournaments that have a bit, like, bigger payout, which could include, like, if there's ever, like, a cash prize involved, um, I would set a delay. It's true. I also, um, there are people in here that could, uh, come in for the pack giveaways. I will be trying to do, um, the pack giveaways, um... After each round, I think I have enough to do that. Alright, so conviction on a sheep is not something you see very often. Uh, thanks for the follow, feline overlord. Terminal finished his games anyways. This is the place, Cool Cat. This is the place for free packs. I don't have any set two packs. Soldier down. Oh, I was wondering why this motherfucker was so big. So he is affected by Koi. So this is a fairly big Avenging Alpha. I kind of agree, sugary spicy. Um, I'm not revealing the card until the end of the tournament. Uh, this tournament probably will go about two hours. So that's probably the time frame you're looking at. <clears throat> Playing, playing out Zera with, without any real support. Yeah, I'll post the card. Um, I've also talked with Noah, and Noah, yeah, the tournament just started. Uh, Noah's gonna put together a page on Hub, which will have a running. Um, it's actually the card reveal I'm gonna do isn't even um. Isn't even placeholder art. It's final art. Um, but Noah will keep a running a running page on hub that'll have all the spoilers. So I'll also be getting it to him. I do not play MTG arena. I have played MTG arena. Um, I don't like magic for a few reasons. Um, but the main thing I don't like about magic is lands. I don't like that games end up being non-games. I don't think you experience mana screw in this game like you do in magic. And that's uh, a big aspect that I really like about it. I also like the deck building a lot more in this game. Yeah, Terminal, you're taking it too seriously. You got all these people with their purple-green decks and their...
So at this point, Tritros is just gonna up the value he's getting here. Um, he's got the the to heaven and back out. It's gonna be tough for Fighter Z to kind of slow him down, especially with the parry in hand. We can see here that Circle V uh, advanced over here. Um, Tufaka and Yoritomo still in their game. Scratch Vinyl lost the Donkey won the first game to Scratch Vinyl. Uh, Terminal 2 owed Kane and Damascus. Uh, Mysterian 2 owed Baka 444. Uh, these guys tied their first game, then Ouroboros Rider won the second. And we are currently in game two uh, for Tritros and Fighters. Um, so yeah, he used the, uh, the Misfortune and the Synapse Overclock to get rid of the Hoarding Hero, making him fragile and giving Alpha Strike there. So a few combat tricks there. Yeah, giving fragile is a pretty interesting mechanic in this game, Myth. I agree. Yeah, I got one of those. The Fighter Z's deck is really interesting. It's Rainbow. We don't see a whole lot of enchantments. He even has Cloud Pillar Peak on here. I'm just wondering how he, he plans on finishing out the game, really. Uh, Toon dropped an official spoiler in general uh, the other day. One sec. Let me see if I can find... Well, I don't want to put his up on my stream. Yeah. Uh, but Toon did drop one. It's um, a 7 cost green spell. This Necro will bring back a Koi. All right. Let him go. This is very much on point for Tritros to try and buff up his Hoarding Hero. He also used Reincarnation to uh, get back a zero cost armor, get an angel. I agree, Rune. The Sanguine Stills art is really cool. Uh, the, the card to me is kind of meh, but it could be interesting. Aeolus will be doing a reveal on her stream. Uh, both Rune and Tempest were also given cards. I don't know when they plan on revealing them. Yoritomo did defeat Tufaka in game two. So Rune will be uh, doing a reveal tomorrow morning. I think that's around the same time, yeah, that Aeolus is. Well, I guess, no, Aeolus is... So he has the Wendis Giant out here. He's he's doing a good job of sort of stalling this game out, but it feels sort of like inevitable at this point. Ouroboros Rider did defeat King Raspberry. Uh, after tying the first game, he won the next two.
That's kind of the thought process, I think, Izzy, is that that card could be good in a Serpent deck, maybe. To turn all your snakes into, like, good cards. Yes, we can talk about the officially revealed cards is fine to talk about, yeah. And he finishes off with the Hoarding Hero because of course he does. So Tritros uh, defeats uh, Fighter Z two games to zero. Um, so let's see what series we still have going. So that one's over. That one is over. Uh, Toon just linked it on in Discord. He doesn't even have an official spot. He placed it. So I think an image would be fine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump into game three of Tufaka and Yoritomo. And Yoritomo has a red-orange deck, and Tufaka is running um, his stretcher deck. Tufaka has this four-color stretcher deck that he insists is very good. We will see if it is very good or if it's just average. So I guess not being able to beat... Not being able to beat red-orange doesn't necessarily make a deck bad. Well, that's because Ice Wall is a very good deck. I think the shell of Ice Wall is very good. I think you're running... It's essentially Turbo Red. Um, you know. Yeah. It's essentially Turbo Red. So, the Turbo, the turbo decks are good decks. Um... So I, I think Ice Wall is legitimately a good deck. I think it's built slightly different than the way, like, the previous Turbo Red was. And, yeah, that's... I mean, it's the same problem that a lot of Fires of Creation decks run into. It loses to Valks pretty hard. Now, I would be slightly worried about giving red-orange more draw. But Yoritomo's red-orange is a bit slower. It runs two heirlooms. It runs some ghouls. It runs extract life, so it might be okay. Yeah, honestly, the Turbo Red is, I like I've said, I think the Turbo Package itself is very good against Red Orange, which is one of the most prominent decks out right now.
I swell has my highest win rate out of any deck right now as well. My red orange win rate is 78. My ice wall win rate is 83. <laughs> Um, so Tufok still hasn't managed to really find any other, like, useful artifacts here. No, Panacea was nerfed to a 0-1. The problem is, when she, when she first, not nerfed, she was changed. So, like, her Awaken and stuff. It was a 0-2. And it was actually supposed to be a 0-1 when the change happened. And they forgot it, and they just left it. They just, I mean, it didn't get nerfed. It was supposed to be a 0-1 when they changed it. So when they made her, like, a good playable card, she was supposed to be a 0-1, and then they just didn't. And it actually made her, like, as a 0-2, she was actually, like, kind of too good. I don't know. It, it felt like a really good card in, um... I don't know, because it was played a lot in um, Turbo Kraken, and it was it was ended up like giving a, a lot of value. Yoritomo going really greedy out here. Uh, Tufaka does find the stretcher at this point. I think I would have wanted to go, you know, wide, probably. Uh, do note that the blast damage, it can heal that off if it uh, eats something. Yeah, the heaven felt really weird there. It didn't feel like a play I would make. Now the stretcher's up and running. He does find a seven ring over on Yoritomo, and we don't uh, we don't really see a lot of clear. I would have I would went bowl, yeah I would have played bowl and uh, the recruits. So then you could cycle with that as well. I think that's probably the right play there. Even using like heirloom to push damage and like uh, desertification probably would have been fine. That's what Twitch chat is for. You can talk to us about the new card. Does anyone have any opinions on the card that Toon shared? Oh, that's right. It was still suppressed. You're right. A double stretcher. He is going to play out double stretcher here. Oh, I found you. Seven ring could definitely still be a bit of a problem for him. I don't know what clear he runs besides misanthropia. What's the one Academy Recruitment spell? I think Academy Recruitment is like the first one that jumps to mind. Yeah. But I, I, I think it has to combo with another color. Sovereign Architect, it's like... Like, the problem is you also turn your Sovereign Architect into the things, too. Like... 
And that's why I think, yeah, like yellow green snakes might be the best way to do it. If I'm just like theory crafting here. It does. Yellow green snakes does sound bad. So he's not going to play the heirloom here. He's realized the stretcher is kind of kicking his ass. So now he's opting to try and stop the stretcher. What is the exact wording on Sanguine? Because if it's a... Uh... This might not be a bad seal here for him. I, I, It's not banished. I'm asking, is it just your minions or is it also your allies' minions? That was my bigger question. Okay. So, two f or Yoritomo not drawing a single rush unit here, sort of. This is a pretty good play. He'll definitely be able to, um. Oh, he can't because it heals. And he can't infuse. So the stretcher is going to survive with one HP. Yeah, the seal could have, the seal could have actually allowed him to kill. Now there are still two stretchers here, but yeah, that definitely. He's looking in a bit of trouble now. Yeah, the sanguine. Am I saying that word right? Sanguine, sanguine. I don't know how to say it. Uh, create five two units, so they won't be able to um, use ringmaster. I believe the tokens will probably just be zero, right? Penguin, penguin, sanguine. Sanguine. T-I-L. So it looks like Tufaka is just going to straight up go face here. And this is six damage. So that is lethal. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's checking. Scourge of Serpents almost feels too slow. Yeah, that's too much mana. Yeah, so red orange. I don't know. Maybe it struggles with stretcher. The Yoritomo dies to the stretcher in the end. Tufaka uh, wins this round. And uh, so this is going to start round two. So before we hop into round two games, I'm going to hurry and uh, do this giveaway. So. I'm going to do the giveaway now, as long as Nightbot doesn't win, who I thought I said was not allowed. Uh then we will move on. B 
Beeline Overlord 4904. Congratulations. I will be sending you um, a code pack in uh, Twitch. Let me know if it doesn't work for whatever reason. Um, we are going to restart the giveaway, and you guys can all re-enter for uh, the next round. And let's see, round two here. So we're going to watch um, M. Flockle, I think. We didn't get a chance to see him before. So uh, get out of here. So it looks like he's running mono purple. I do wonder if it's um, Tempest mono purple plus shroud. It is not. Just a normal mono purple. So why we're here, we will look at um, the rounds so far. So here's our players that um Uh thanks for stopping by near asked. Yeah, the no traitorous murmur splash. So um Yeah, here's our here's our round so far. So M. Flockle, M. Flockle, will probably need to, um, yeah, yeah, you can't really afford to leave that. Did have the racer for it. Um, if he doesn't pull a green to burn for Necro, we do know he can just play out Valhalla. Give me the Iku. So he is just going to play out the Necro. Nope. He's going to go Valhalla. I don't know anything. Tufaka is just a man of many mysteries and I will never understand it. But he's also a very good player, despite his attitude. So he's just going to play out Junkyard Valhalla. He is a nab, but he's our nab. So potentially a Magnus play here, or perhaps Bella. Looks like it's going to be Bella. He is logic. He's all of our nabs. Hashtag not my nab. So he's going to play out the Bella. Um, opting to stun the God of Gamers. We'll see what M. Flockle does about this one.
I don't believe so. Maybe they did? I don't believe so, though. So he plays down the Eidolon. Um, reduce the, the Kraken's attack to zero. The Eidolon isn't going anywhere, and now the Kraken's attack is up to seven. <laughs> Uh, he stuns the God of Gamers again. And now... Um, he's going to burn Ida. And he may just play out the second uh, Triassic Kraken. You also need to remember, he has regen 3. So he's going to be back up to full HP next turn. There's lots of Krakens. His Boneyard currently just has Freki Sidecar. Is my... Is my Mythgard Overlay not working? Weird. Only works like half the time, I swear. Yeah. So, um, he spirits away one of them, uh, swings into the other one. As we mentioned, though, it does have regen, so... Because that would be the wrong color. I'm... Like, is he gonna play out Magnus here? Is he gonna straight up hard cast Living Mountain? I think he just wants to hard cast Living Mountain. He's already seen one Spirit Away used. Uh, you know, Purple's hard removal is about that. So, this Bella has also been a pretty big issue over here. She's done a. She hasn't really been. Affected at all. Yeah, perfect grade. Even then, perfect grade, like Living Mountain kind of just laughs at perfect grade, right? So he's going to play back out the God of Gamers, it looks like. A big thank you to my sponsors. It's two crowns he has now. Pulls the short stack. So I don't think he'll burn short stack to play Living Mountain. No. He will play the short stack to bring the sidecar back. Then he'll just go ahead and burn the sidecar. Yeah. He'll just play Living Mountain next turn. Oh, that's right. Living Mountain is uh, four blue. See, it's no one ever actually hard casts it, so I forget that you need fucking four blue gems to be able to play it. Look at me.
All right. So he's more than willing to uh, trade the Bella in and uh, win the game. As soon as he clicks smite, then he wins the game. So we'll leave this game uh, while Tufaka's dabbing. So Tufaka wins that first game. We're going to watch uh, Mysterian and Donkey. So Donkey is playing Mono Red. Mysterian's on um, Red Orange. His deck looks awfully familiar. Awfully familiar indeed. Because Tufaka always dabs. Yeah, Tufaka is really rude. This is. Unfortunately, that is uh, still lethal. Swinging there and then straight ahead. That was not the way to get lethal. Oh, but he does have seal. Um. The Mysterian uh, beats Donkey. Donkey did win his first round. Um. We are going to watch. Yeah, I mean, there was, well, you know, she's got life tap, man. Yeah, there was a, a bunch of ways for him to get it done there. We got a game three going on here between some blue yellow doggos over here, it looks like. More doggos. He did already use his biting blade somewhere, so he doesn't have a way to heal right now. He does have a hoarding hero though. I assume this will probably trigger the misanthropia. I have no idea why Foresight plus Journey of Souls. Two more doggos. 
Maybe. Step your game up does love foresight. Now we can use it. Plays out the uh, the wolf. We'll die here. Just goes wide. Lock a put a riot guard on or a enforcer on top, and I don't think that's gonna do it. Not this season. He did last season. Not this season. So Tritros wins. Uh, Trichos, I believe, will be moving on then. Alright, so we're going to watch game three of Circle and Terminal. So we have Red Orange versus Valks here. I think Circle is definitely one of those people that came with um, Red, Orange, Valks, and Necro. Probably the Kara. Is that all you've got? Allowing his sidecar to just die is a very weird play to me. A Kara there could have killed the sidecar. Immediately draws the temptation. <laughs> so yeah, he got temptation off the oak. I assume he'll be tempting the road queen. And Circle calls it. I don't know. I feel like I would have held on a little longer if I were Circle, considering that you can pull Ingrid and stuff. But, uh, yeah, Terminal beats out uh, Circle uh, in three games. We're going to watch uh, game three of Lacaz against Scratch Vinyl. So we do have what looks to be um, Scratch Vinyl running some sort of reanimator and uh, Lacaz running... Okay, well this game is actually over now. Uh, I believe this is Spirit Stretcher. <laughs> I believe that is Rune's Spirit Stretcher deck. Rune, famous for crafting Spirit Stretcher. All 
All right, so the only two series still going are Tufak uh, and Mysterian and Donkey. We're going to check out game two over here, Mysterian and Donkey. Uh, Mysterian looks to be playing War Shroud. Donkey is just playing other types of dogs. <laughs> this is a different deck than Donkey was playing the first time that were dogs. This one is different dogs. But it looks like he's gonna just admit defeat. So uh, I believe that means the only series left is uh, watching Tufaka again. So this is game three. Uh, M. Flockle is playing uh, blue orange rainbow. Tufaka, uh, this is his um, his stretcher deck again. Trying to clear out these dragon's teeth. I wonder if this is a good enough misanthropia for Tufaka? Yeah, it looks like that's what he'll do. And then also use the racer to ensure the Magnus dies. on a lot of cards he has double dragon's teeth out currently we'll see what he wants to play out here the twin fire does represent quite a bit of damage He's going to double block it. We'll see if he maybe burns the wings here in preparation to be able to play the stretcher. Oh, he's just going to burn out stretcher and play Samasek. Burning stretcher seems pretty interesting when you got the guy drawing two extra cards a turn. Uh, and Flockle, a lot of enchantments in hand. Not very many good units. Uh, the Ifrit is almost useless at this point. He kind of acts like a, a stretcher against you when you're drawing that many cards. So he has, um, you know, Sidecar and some Thanes. And that's really it. Now, the God's Blood could uh, really buff up this guy. It could be, yeah, so the Speedway God's Blood... Uh, Oh, I didn't think it would be lethal because I thought she would heal. But I guess she did get to zero. So, yeah. The so Speedway God's Blood. All right, so that'll start us up on round three then. So, before we hop into these uh, round three games, we are going to... Uh, we're going to do another giveaway.
stop when this hits 30. Bam. Merlin uh, winning this giveaway. So I will be sending you some pack codes over Twitch. Um, we are going to restart the giveaway. Everyone can now re-enter. Uh, and I'll be giving out some more pack codes after the next round. So, someone did not ready up for this game. Mysterion, what are you doing? So we're going to hop into a terminal and M Flockle then. Uh, M Flockle with mono purple and terminal with purple green. Is Ouroboros Rider going to get another win off of uh, essentially a buy? Putting him at 3-0? and Maybe. I don't know what happened to Mysterion. He was here just a second ago playing. So, uh, Terminal running the purple green has a shroud out. Uh, gets down the Lantern Colossus. M. Flockle is on mono purple. Oroboros Rider rolls into the final round. Uh, three and zero. Oh. After Mysterion uh, disappeared. Uh, Darkness, thanks for the follow, man. So using the, uh, the Pentacle... To uh, jump over and kill the Colossus, and then hit and face. So he does just steal the... The Shinobi. Um, so he can easily just trade into it now because of the positioning of the Shinobi. And with the Jin Sook, he can actually just trade into it for... Not free, but... So the Jin Sook... Yeah, that's right. What does it give? What does Pentacle give? Slayer what? Four. Yeah, he was never going to trade into that for free. Um, what could he bring back with the short stag? He has, yeah, it's true. So yeah, the murmur essentially took pentacle, shinobi, and uh, barkeep. Uh, so he's going to use shroud to get back the colossus.
Pentacle. Pentacle always wins. So I do think he realizes that um, his shroud is going down at this point. I think he probably has to play the short stag out here. Even then, the short stag will get moved over. Uh, so he'll play off the steam button. It gets him another pike. And he'll just play out uh, Tarragon. He'll do some unit shifting. He does have the Sword Saint to heal, but it, it feels kind of bad at this point. He can only heal for, you know, six over here. Seven if he also gives it the steam button. I really think he needed to play out the short stag uh, earlier. So M. Flockle uh, beats Terminal in game one. Yeah, he did have detained the port. I'm not I'm not quite sure what the thought process was. Um, let's see here. We're going to go into um, Circle and Donkey's game two. The donkey is playing mono red. Oh my god, does he win with Hysterical Strength on Lord Valentine after the familiar hits? Well, looky there. Wait, what? He had lethal. Donkey ruined it. Donkey, you fool. Now he does, um... I think he had to tempt it. I don't know what else he was supposed to do. But unfortunately, 
Donkey will, will still get there. Beating Red Orange. So yes, of course Mono Red Vampires beats Red Orange. This is a well-known fact. We're going to watch Yuri Tomo and Lakaz game two. Okay, so we got, uh, I believe, yeah, here's Rune Spirit Stretcher. And uh, Yuri Tomo is playing Blurple. Has Melano out? Welcome. Every time we'll just drops down the barkeep. Um, he is playing Blurple Rainbow, so he draws the draws the stairway. So he's just gonna put out the uh, the yote in here, um, see if that can withstand any offense. Lacaz can throw at it. Unfortunately, it does not look like Lacaz will be able to kill it without trading Melano. If he extracts life, it can bring it down to one. Take you. Well, look, now it's going to have Pentacle, so maybe he wishes he would have killed it. Not doing anything about this guy. Rune is triggered. Rune hates Pentacle. Myth, if you don't like what Logic says, you can just delete the message or ban him. You're a mod. He could just put the stairway under here. Does he win if he just puts it? Because then it has focus one, right? So that's 10 damage. No, he's one short. No. Yeah, that would have been lethal. It has focus two. So Yori Tomo out here missing lethals. But still finding them. All right, uh, we're going to look into um, Terminal and M. Flockle, game three. The Terminal is once again on his purple-green. M. Flockle is running his blue-orange. 
Oh, but this is a uh, terminals. Was it? Was this purple green? Necro. I didn't realize this purple green was Necro last time. I guess I was not paying attention. So, what's Flockle's play here? <laughs> oh, he's just going for the face. So once he trades this in, he will have a perfect grade that can then zap uh, her and kill her. He can also then stun uh, the Thane with Bella. And he could even play out the Sword Saint. So this suddenly looks uh, very good for Terminal. So, M. Flockle's just hoping to go face, but he does know that there's a Biting Blade here. So... Covering fire. But continue to, uh, stun the Thane. Uh, and then heal up using the perfect grade. Well, that's too bad, Rune. That would have been fun to watch. So he, uh... The terminal... Beats out uh, M. Flockle. Uh, he'll be facing Ouroboros Rider, though Tritros is also going to technically be undefeated. Um, the two Faka beat Fighters. Scratch Vinyl 1 down there. So the only games we have left for this round are Yoritomo and Lakaz. So Yoritomo is over here on Red Orange. And Lakaz is running the Spirit Stretcher deck.
Yeah, like having to seal the ravenous she is kind of kind of humorous. One of your games was shown to Faka where you beat Red Orange with your stretcher. Yes. We were all very proud of you. So he does have double dragon's teeth out, but he's not really finding anything to help him. So he just uh, is going to tempt just to get rid of one of the dragon's teeth. It'll send the oak back, but that's not really an issue for him. I don't think... Uh, he can't even play the the night hag. Yeah. Like, if you're going to play double dragon's teeth against red orange, you better have the stretcher. Because otherwise you've just given them a thousand answers. Tufaka also played the stretchers in the game to win that. He had double stretcher. <laughs> so Gig here we know actually just wins the game. Because it'll wipe this and then he can swing. And yeah, he takes his chances to see what that card is. And uh, beats him. So Yoritomo wins. So I believe that is the end of this round. So I believe we're advancing to round four, which is the final round. Um, we're going to have Terminal and Ouroboros Rider against each other and Tritros and Circle. Um, so we'll have at least one player that's 4-0, possibly two. Before we advance to the next round of games, we are going to do another giveaway. Uh, it's just Swiss, so like if two people tie at 4-0, they'll split the prize. Um, but yes, we're going to be doing another giveaway. We'll do Terminal. Sure. Thank you, Noah. So with Noah's uh, help, we'll be giving two winners in this giveaway. Um, so you got double the chances now. Um, okay. So, the f oh, two Faka got in. The first winner is a little bit twitchy. And the second winner is... One Drave. So One Drave and a little bit twitchy. We'll both uh, be getting card packs. Uh, and then I'm going to restart the giveaway for one more round so you can uh, re-enter the giveaway. The rounds are set automatically by how many people uh, enter the tournament, Tufaka.
Uh, we're going to hop into Tritros versus Circle. Why I send out these codes. One drave and a little bit twitchy. Yeah, these rounds have been uh, surprisingly smooth. So this is our final round. Um, we'll be doing one more giveaway after this, and then I will be showing um, a card from the next expansion. So uh, Circle V is out here running uh, his purple-green Necro. Uh, Tritros appears to have a blue-green Seasons deck. I don't know if I can support Seasons at all. So he steals the uh the Volkov heavy. That does have the biting blade on it. So not the worst play. Um Circle will just play out the uh the Colossus. Most likely giving it the cloak to get rid of the the little girl. Top deck in the racer probably was not the card he wanted there. It's a recursionist. Is he going to play the recursionist to play Brainstorm? He is. Oh, nope. He's going to play Academy Recruitment instead. This blue-green spells deck. I believe this is, um... Wow, another racer. <laughs> I believe this deck is, um... Hollow Tiger's blue-green uh, deck that runs um, Spell Flux and Zira and whatnot. Alright, so Circle does have a perfect grade. I don't really know if Tritros has a way to deal with a perfect grade. Oh, but Circle can't play it. He draws a burnt card. So he's just going to have to spirit away the Bella instead. Oh, 
Which one is it? All right. So let's see if Circle can play the perfect grade now. He does get a card he can burn to play out perfect grade. Most likely play it out here, zap twice, and then zap one of these. By zapping her, he can then trade the Necro into Mothmara. Oh, but he can't zap twice and zap over there. That's right. So then he'll trade there and gets the Necro. The real question here is, does Tritros have a lethal somewhere? So if he horns... Oh, the marching orders to send this one over here now. You want to swing with this first. So if he swings here, then uses marching orders to send it over. Yeah, that's lethal. What? Uh, well, that's a that's a pretty cool deck. Pretty fun way to win there. The Tritros with his blue-green uh, spell can I think that they call it the spell cannon. Uh, yeah, beating up the purple-green Necro. So that's that was a fun game to watch. Um, we are gonna check out uh game two of Terminal and Ouroboros Rider. Terminal is running value town here. Which means he won gate he won game one on something else. He needs that value. Uh, they play Herald of Death because of Tempest. Yes, I believe that's correct, Rune. Tempest didn't do anything. Rune's just being a silly guy. Uh, first place in the tournament, it's uh, 17,000 coins. Hell to Death is a great card. I assume he'll probably just drop uh, Armageddon here over on this stairway. This might be the end for the Ouroboros Rider streak. I was really rooting for him. The 
big cat, but it's definitely not going to be enough. He can use Vengeful Heirloom to survive. He could also just seal the cat if he wanted to. Um, now that it's got Frenzy, it's even better, obviously. Putting a card right here so that it has Dark Passenger onto that thing is uh, sort of a guaranteed win at this point. He would be able to use Vengeful Heirloom. Uh, that's not going to do it. So it looks like Terminal will uh, go 4 or no. Um... I don't know why he... He's making it weird, but he's got it. Um, so yeah, Terminal goes 4-0. Oh. We're going to check in on game two of Tritros and Circle. This is uh, Tritros running his Tengu deck. The golems have different images because they get different images depending on how much strength they have. They're still considered the same card, though. Another pup. was probably not what Tritros was looking for there. I assume Circle will just drop down his own 7 ring now. Which will probably seal the deal on this game. So this match will go to a game 3. We're going to hop into, uh, I think, um, Yoritomo versus M. Flockle game two first. We got Blurple and Blue Orange. We're hopping in time just to see Horn, so I assume it's lethal. <laughs> All right, we're going to watch game three of Tritros and uh, Circle. Circle went uh, back to the purple-green Necro, and Tritros switched up to purple-orange. All right. As we know, Tritos does love his hoarding hero. What is lost? 
Now, does he seal the Necro on curve? He does. So Necro gets uh, sealed on curve. Now Circle will have to play out his expensive minions like a normal person. He definitely does feel a bit behind now but uh he doesn't he didn't really have a way to deal with the eco either so how's it going hazaj so by putting the pearl on it uh, he'll be able to play out the Ronin now. So, uh, plays out the Colossus, gives it the cloak. I like these two just trying to race each other. Circle can, um... Play out everything. It seems really weird to have not, um... It felt kind of weird to me to not swing face with the Shinobi, because then it would put him at one, and then he wouldn't have been able to swing into the house elf. Uh, as of now, he can overrun it. Uh, well, he did have the lamp to divot. Circle is playing around it. It still puts him at 1 HP is the biggest issue here. So, yeah, I don't know what he'd be able to pull from the from the deck now. Fortunately, he will just die to smite here. So, Circle takes it over Trichos, which will make both of them finish at 3-1. and one. So, Terminal will be the only person to go 4-0. Uh, we have that many people at three and one. Let's see. Are there any more rounds? Okay, so this is our final uh, game right here. 
is Yoritomo and M. Flockle. Uh, the winner of this... Jesus. The winner of this will also finish 3-1. Uh, and one. So after that, uh, we will have one more giveaway, and then I will be revealing a new card. Um, I'll be revealing a new card from the upcoming expansion. Yeah, Rune, normally like people can play like three games in that amount of time. And then, um, as I mentioned, uh, Noah is going to be putting all the revealed cards up on Hub, like in a singular spot. That, that really depends what you want. Hey, Ellis. Okay, well then it's the card. Um... So he could play out the stray panacea here and then also misanthropia. I don't know if the misanthropia is 100% necessary. Uh, he could be worried about maybe horn shenanigans, but he could, um, he could just sapo this. I know you do too, Faka. So these are these are far greedier plays than what I said. I don't know if he'll be at, he'll burn anything actually. I think he has to misanthropia this time. You guys can guess the color. What color do you think Fu would give me based on what I play? Yeah, he probably should have played the misanthro or the the panacea first. Locked in. Do we have a mission? Do we have a mission? Oh, into the wonder drug. It's definitely not purple. Uh, you guys are wrong though, it's not red either. Well, terminal's right. Uh, Yori Tomo taking this game very slow. Uh, he's used both Wonder Drugs now. I don't know how many Panaceas he runs. Pick all three. 
It is an orange card. Braggy, not really the best draw here, since he can't actually make use of it. Now, he played this really weird by not putting the maze here. Because this allows that one to survive, I think. So he does put the... It is not an angel or a construct. Um, if anyone can guess the the tribe, though, I will give them um, five packs. No, it is not a rebel. All right, well, a little bit twitchy wins. <laughs> so I guess I have to give him five more packs. <laughs> It is, in fact, a gin. Yes, it is an orange gin. Yeah, Tufaka, that's if you hit zero at all, then you die. I assume he'll be playing out the short stag here. I don't know if I can see what is actually in his... Besides doing this. So a born again, an overkill, uh, the other twin, and a volition. Well, see, Hazaj, I also do this thing called playing the game, so that's why I think they gave it to me. <laughs> All right, everyone. So that is the end of the KG Nablacker invite. Congrats to Terminal, who went 4-0. Uh, we have a one, two, three, four, five way tie for second, uh, three and one with all these guys. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, everyone for, uh, thank you everyone who participated. I guess you have to post the top six, Noah.
uh yeah gg to everyone who participated thanks for uh playing um conquest is a pretty interesting format <clears throat> i've considered making it best of five where you have to uh terminals lineup was uh the expected lineup um red orange green purple and mono blue so yeah, his was the expected lineup of what would win. Uh, Circle also did the same thing. Uh, Two Focus was pretty different. Yoritomo's was pretty different. Tritros is pretty different. Yeah. But yeah, the two the the top person did run the expected uh the expected lineup. So Terminal is our ultimate nab lacquer. Um. All right, so we are going to do one more giveaway. Um. Uh we're going to do one more giveaway. Everyone, now's your chance to enter. Exclamation point giveaway to uh, get in here. If Noah wins, the packs will be given to a charity of his choice. Okay, when this, when it hits 34 is when I'll close it. Nightbot is in here as well. All right. One Drave, I'm sorry you won last time, so I'm going to do a new winner. Um, so it's going to go to Yui this time. Uh, so Yui, with the win, uh, thank you, everyone, for, uh, for participating. Uh, Yui, I'll give you some packs. One second. All right, everyone. Uh, are you guys all ready to uh, uh, see a new card that's going to be in the expansion? No? All right, well... No, that's fine. I'll send it to Aeolus. Uh, the rest of you, I guess you'll just have to get it some, you know, somewhere how, some other way. I think that this card will be played in red orange or definitely has the possibility to be played in red orange. So here is the card. It is the Rye Trickster. Uh, it is a 3-2 orange, one gem, uh, two mana. You select a minion, uh, blue action, without revealing it. It gets, before attacking, that minion gets minus two, minus zero, and fragile two until the start of your next turn. You, uh, on demise, you'll lose life equal to the number of times you've used this ability. 
So, uh, yeah, he, um, he'll probably die to rush, but he'll be really good against things like Valks. Yeah, the one gem, the one gem is really good. Yeah, it's kind of like Hourglass on a Body. The one gem, uh, makes it really playable. Um, yeah, it is. It's, uh, it is a rare, so you can only have two of them. But I think it's a very good card. I think it'll see play. I think it's a uh, yeah. I think I think it'll see a lot of even just uh, having three attack. Uh, the art is really cool. Uh, you can see her weapon turned into a tennis racket. This guy turned her weapon into a tennis racket. Yeah. So the art is really cool. Uh, she's like oh getting ready to fight and suddenly bam tennis racket. Yeah, the other one has a baguette. You can see the one. The one ended up with like a like yeah, it looks like a piece of bread or something. The other one a tennis racket. So yeah, it's a. I think it's a very good card. I think it'll see. I think it'll definitely see play. Um, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be sending this to a uh, Noah. Um, Noah on Hub will have a spot where he's gonna be collecting all the spoilers for us. Uh, all the official ones that we drop out. Um, I know Aeolus has some spoilers that she's going to be doing on a stream in some amount of hours. Rune has uh, some spoilers he's going to be doing tomorrow morning. I know that Tempest has a spoiler. So uh, check out all these streams. Uh, once again, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, yeah. It does expire. You can see it's until the start of your next turn. So then the ability will go away on that unit. The fact that it's a blue action allowing it to uh, be used the turn it comes down is really cool, too. But yeah, so uh, watch out for spoilers. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming by. Thanks for supporting the stream. Thanks for those who participated in the NAB Lacquer invite. And um, I think that's going to do it for me today. So I will talk to you all later.